A quick new idea daily from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Every year, hordes of residents and tourists head to New Orleans to celebrate Mardi Gras. It's considered one of the most jovial times of the year in the Big Easy, a welcoming space for all partygoers. Kate LaCour wants that inclusive spirit to be even better. Kate's an artist and art therapist who's worked with students with special needs for nearly 20 years. She asked us to consider how public celebrations like Mardi Gras can be more attentive to the needs of all. Fight for your right to party. I want to know, seriously, is there a universal human right to party? When society decides to celebrate, who's getting an invite? And who's being excluded? Mardi Gras is the definition of an open access party. It's not one parade on one day. Mardi Gras is a month-long celebration. Thousands are present, all ages, all backgrounds, all partying more or less together. The beads are a real thing. The flashing, not so much. Now, autism is essentially a different way the brain can be wired. People with autism literally experience the world differently through their senses. So everyday sensations like the texture of carpet or the sound of a doorbell can be very distracting or even painful to them. People with autism tend to have difficulty with communication, uh, language, and with social interactions, especially conversation and eye contact. And people with autism tend to think and express themselves differently. Autism is not a binary where you have autistic, non-autistic. It's not even a spectrum where you have mild autism grading into extreme autism. You know, autism is characterized by a variety of different qualities, each existing independently of one another. It's characterized by a great hypersensitivity here, a great lack of sensitivity there, a great skill here, a great deficit there. And each of these qualities can exist in any degree and in any combination. There's no one profile for autism. So how do you accommodate autism? And the people in the crowd, they are waving lightsabers, they're yelling, they're going wild. How are autism and party coexisting here? Well, the simple answer is with practice, 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 and accommodation. My nonprofit, Knoll Arts Learning Center, spent weeks preparing a group of teens with autism for this event. Now, most of that time was spent creating costumes, props, and instruments. But during that time, we were also preparing for what to expect on parade night and how to behave. We spent a lot of time building up a social rapport, team building, and preparing them for the parade day expectations using videos, role plays, and on-site dress rehearsals. And every creative task, like sewing and painting, was broken down into steps, little bite-sized pieces, and each piece was presented in different ways for our different learning styles and abilities, visually, verbally, hands-on. And on parade night, we got some accommodations from the parade organizers, including our own entourage of trained volunteers acting as escorts. And we provided some sensory modifications as well, the noise-canceling headphones and soft, flexible drum straps to make it more comfortable. These practices and principles are not limited to Mardi Gras. These things can and should be done for all sorts of public events, for street fairs, religious celebrations, concerts, and galleries. So why does all this matter, right? What's the impact? Well, it matters because people with autism are members of the community, and they need to participate in public life and culture. Parents and family members need to prepare them to do this. 
parade organizers and culture makers need to take their needs into consideration and meet reasonable accommodation requests. What about you, the audience members, the other people at the concert and the show? What do you need to do? You need to provide the acceptance. This person at the gallery needs to breastfeed? OK. This person at the show needs to bring a guide dog? OK. This person needs to jump up and wave their hands? OK. No problem. Your acceptance is the party invitation. Everyone deserves a seat at the table. And when it's time to celebrate, everyone deserves to swing from the chandelier. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Lafayette, Louisiana. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx Vermilion Street. Want to listen to the full talk? Find Kate's talk and more at TED.com slash TEDx Shorts. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you next time.